Classification measures. Video offered by Stanford Code Course Initiative. My name is Afelio. So far, we have covered the concepts behind machine learning. We described in general how to work with your data and gave details on the three main types of uh, data models regression, classification, and clustering. In this, in this practical method sections, specific techniques for working with data are broken down by the type of models. The slide walks through how the techniques are applied. The, te the technique uh, we look at now for use with classification models is classification measures. The topics to be covered are confusion matrix, classification rate accuracy, error matrix, precision, recall, F1 measure of F1 score, awaiting average recall, an application in balanced dataset and imbalanced datasets. The confusion matrix allows this identification of confusion between classes. A.g. commonly one class is mislabeled as the other. If we read the, the matrix by columns, predictions of class 1 can be either true positive, TP, or false positive. In the latter case, the model has classified some of the samples actually are negative and positive. At the same time, prediction of class 2, class two uh, may be either false negative. The mirror image, the model has been evaluated as negative. Some examples rarely are positive or true negative. Conversely, if uh, read by rows, actual observation of class 1, not the model predictions, which are uh, read by columns, can be two positives or false negatives. The class 2 real may be false positive or two negatives. Classification rates. Based on the confusion matrix defined in the previous slide, you can set the classification rate at the percentage of correct predictions, whether positive or negative, but correctly predicted by the model, over total predictions. Measures derived as the classification error is uh, also present, or contemplate the classification rate at the probability of uh, correct classification by the model. We define recall as the number of correctly classified positive examples divided by the overall number of positive examples, i.e. the sum of the true positives and false negatives. The recall variable is inversely related to false negatives, that is, the lower the false negative, the greater the recall rate. If we consider recall from the point of view the probabilities, will be the probability of a correct classification subject to a positive example. The precision index is defined uh, as the number of correctly classified positive examples divided by the total number of predicted of labeled as positive examples, that is, the sum of the true positive and false positives. As in the case of recall, precision is inversely related to the number of false positive, i.e., the lower the number of false positive, the higher will be the precision rate. In terms of probability, precision could be seen as the probability of a positive example subject to the example to be classified as positive. 
we must now ask about the relationship between recall and precision. In the case of high recall but low accuracy, we understand that most of the positive examples are correctly recognized. Low false negative but there are a lot of false positives. In the case of low recall but high precision, we understand that we miss a lot of positive examples, high false negatives, but we predict those uh, are indeed positive as positive, low false positives. F1 measure of F1 score. In the statistical analysis of binary classifications, the F1 score, uh, also known as, as uh, F score of S F measure, is a measure of a test accuracy. It's considered both the precision P and the recall R of the test on compute score. P is the number of correct positive uh, results divided by the number of all positive results and R is the number of correct, correct positive results divided by the number of positive results that should have been returned. The F1 score CAD can be interpreted as a weighted average of the precision and recall, where an F1 score reaches its best value at 1 and worst at 0. The traditional F measure of balance F score is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. The F measure measures the effective effectiveness of retrieval with respect uh, to a user we attach alpha times as much importance to recall as precision. UAR and weighting average recall is defined as the average of the rate of recall of each class. We can extend to multiple classes. From the raw data, the values in the table will typically be the counts of each occurrence of the test data. From this, you shall be able to compute the quantities you need. The generalization to multi-class problems is to sum over rows or columns of the confusion matrix. Given that the matrix uh, is oriented as above, i.e that a given row of the matrix corresponds to a specific value for the through. We have uh, that precision is the fraction of events where we correctly declare uh, out of all instances where, with, where the algorithm declared other shows. On a set of uh, balanced data, on the number of class example, by the measures that are calculated on the confusion matrix show similar results. In this third case of uh, imbalance in datasets, both classifiers are good. The imbalance represents the classes uh, are not equally represented.
in this case position and F1 score for class 2 is significantly affected. 30% of class 1 examples are misclassified leads to a higher number of false positives than true negatives due to imbalance. In the second case, one classifier is useless. F1 for the class 2 and UR tell you that something is something uh, is wrong. UIR uh, also detects that there is a, there is a problem. We arrive at uh, the next conclusions. CR can be misleading simply follows the performance of the majority class. UAR is useful and can help to detect that no one of more classifiers are not good, but it does not give uh, not, not give us any information about uh, false positives. F1 is useful as well what is also affected by the class imbalance problems. We are not sure if the low score is due one to one of or more classifiers being useless or class imbalance. That's why the show always have a look at the confusion matrix. One solution may be normalization divide by the number, the total number of examples uh, per class and report performance also on the normalized matrix. We can see uh, the difference of the results before and after normalization. By the end, we can upsample the minority class or downsample the majority class, selecting randomly the same number of examples uh, as the minority class, uh, re repeating this uh, procedure several times and train classifier each time with different data sets and, and seeing the results and uh, report the mean and standard deviation of the selected performance missions. We have covered classification measures which are used for error analysis with classification models. There are a number of real world examples out or GitHub. See you in another video. Good morning.